Hello everybody, welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. After that successful Cain run, we've beaten the game with Maggie, Isaac, Eve, Judas, and Cain. You know what that means. There's only one character left. The all-important Blue Baby. And after I defeat the game with him, if I defeat the game with him, because it's uh, definitely not set in stone yet, uh, I will have at least unlocked every item in the game. I won't have seen every item in the game, but I'll have unlocked it. Hey, Loki's horns right off the bat. Ain't so bad, but obviously with Blue Baby, it's incredibly luck-based whether a run is going to be good or fucking horrible. And the only items that are really going to give us a huge advantage are items that allow us to replenish our spirit hearts. Otherwise, we have no way of regenerating health at all over the course of this entire video. So we're going to be really on the lookout for a nail or um, you know, a book of revelations or a relic item, which seems to be extraordinarily rare. Now, for beating the game with Kane, for beating Shoal with Kane, or Sheol again, however you want to pronounce it, we unlocked an item called the Bomb Bag. Hopefully we'll get a chance to see that. I don't know what it does, but it could be cool. I don't have enough money to go to either the shop or the, um... Oh, but you know what? Ooh. Okay, let's, let's try something rash here. Uh, let's use Justice. It'll give me a bomb and it... The bomb spawned! In a place where I need a bomb to get it? Uh, well, hindsight's 2020. I probably shouldn't have done that in a room where that could possibly happen. But still, I didn't know that was a possibility. Anyway, we'll just fire away at the Duke of Flies here. Kind of a pain in the ass without piercing shots, but that's okay. He's already 50% dead. And after we defeat him, hopefully he'll give us something good. Not really looking for an HP up, although HP ups are not necessarily bad when you're playing as Blue Baby. It does give you an extra spirit heart, but I prefer something more permanent. Maybe a uh, damage up would even be better at this point. Uh, what else? Yeah, even tears up. Not range up, though. Range up is kind of a... It's an item I could get at any point. I could take it or leave it. Well, an HP up. Okay, that's all right. Please give me a bomb, poop. Fuck. Well... Sucks that we missed out on uh, on all that good loot. I could have gotten like eight cents as a result of that bomb, but oh well. What's our item gonna be here? Shears. That's a good item. Uh, this will allow us to kill bosses more easily and take a lot less damage, which is really important, obviously, when you're playing as the person I'm playing as. Decided to unlock that chest rather than going to the shop, just because uh, you know I probably can't really make good use of the shop with the low amount of money I have. And hey, I got a bomb out of it too, so maybe I'll. Fight the boss, and then I'll see if I can use that bomb to find something useful. We're fighting a champion monster. That's okay. We're gonna let the shears do the business to him. We'll just hang out here, goad him on a little bit, do a little bit of extra damage. But mostly, uh, pretty sure the Meat Boy S guy is gonna take almost all of his health out here, which is fine by me. Saves me some time. That was easy. Range up. Uh, I'm not gonna pick that up just yet. Let's see what we got here from Satan. Three hearts for Brimstone. Um, you know what? Let's fucking do it. Hopefully I'll find some more spirit hearts. I'm gonna look down here for tinted rocks. Uh, this is risky. I'm not gonna deny that. I only have one spirit heart right now. But, you know, I Brimstone is such an, a powerful item, I think this is gonna give me a good chance. And my other thought was, oh, well, if I die fast, at least I can just start the run over again. Now, let's continue hammering away at them like this. I've really really got to avoid taking damage. That is by far the most important part right now. Hey, uh, okay, I'm gonna try to get this host to come down. Oh, no, I can't. I was thinking that maybe there was the, uh, the secret room and I could unlock it by using a bomb. No such luck. More hearts that I can't use. That's probably the secret room down there, right? Well, I could go to that, or I could use my bomb to get to that chest. Okay. Watch out here. That was good. Another sense. And one more room. Hey, Judgment. And two more rooms after that. Alright, Envy. Gotta be a little bit careful, I suppose. But Envy should have relatively low health, considering we're right at the, uh, basically the beginning of the game. Let's take out these tiny Envies first to make my life a little bit easier. Oh, and immediately spawn more. I'm pretty sure Envy's health scales with what level you're at. Oh! Okay, only two more of these to go. Please drop something good. Live Bomb, not really what I was hoping for. High Priestess, also a tarot card that could potentially end my run. What do we have? Oh, two Judgments, fantastic. Let's use this one. See if maybe with six cents I can pick up some bombs or keys. 
or the Book of Revelations right off the bat. Uh, as much as I love the shears, considering the decision that I made to trade for Brimstone, I need to hang on to that Book of Revelations. Come on, give me something here, buddy. HP up! That's pretty damn good, actually. Uh, considering I only spent five cents, I got the Book of Revelations and an HP up. That's not bad at all. Just to show you, yeah, you get that warm, fuzzy feeling inside from donating to charity, but also a little bit of a tangible reward as well. What do we have in here? Fair trade. Gave my bomb for a bomb and a key. Uh, I'm not going to try to find the secret room. Instead, I will save my bomb for use. Might as well get the range up now. For use on um, tinted rocks in case I find them. So, okay, we're, we're doing well now. Much better than we were a second ago where uh, I had Brimstone plus only one Spirit Heart. Now with three Spirit Hearts, I can start making my way again. It looks like that Brimstone trade might have been the smartest decision I've ever made in a, in a Blue Baby run. Starting to amass some bombs. And again, like the, the theory that I talked about in the last video, where if you're overpowered, go to as many rooms as possible, do as much exploring as you can. That's exactly what we're going to do now, because we are overpowered for the Caves Part 1. What do we have here? More bombs and keys. Excellent! Starting to get accrue some advantages, to quote myself. Can't believe I didn't take damage there. I was almost sure that I was going to get hit. Obviously the main advantage... Oh, please be a health up. Range up. Alright, well it's useless, but could be worse, I suppose. Um, our main advantage is going to be getting as many spirit hearts as possible. So going to as many rooms as we can. Teleport, utterly useless to me right now. Let's come up here. Book of Revelations is going to recharge on our next room. Avoid taking damage here. Or maybe not. <laughs> oh god, and I wasted a bomb by accident. Just hit E. Okay, well, at least Book of Revelation. It's a zero sum game in that room. Which is a damn shame because I could have, should have destroyed it, really. Oh so, uh, well. Hey, two spirit hearts out of that. Can't complain, and yet another bomb. Okay, so I made up, or the game made up for my mistake. Good. Brimstone is really good for taking bomb flies out on a layout like this. Item room, boss room, okay. I don't want to shoot that TNT, it could damage me. What do we have here in the item room? Speed and range up? Well, it's basically a speed up. That's alright though. Hmm. Again, lots of different options for where the secret room could be here, so I don't necessarily want to waste a bomb to try to get to it. We'll hold on to our bombs, unless we find some compelling evidence of a, a good direction to pick. I.e. if this room drops a map. Well, I'll drop the key. Not really worth it in my eyes. Let's go fight the boss. And hopefully the boss will be something relatively easy. I don't want to fight a Gertie right now. I don't want to fight a Peep right now. I want to fight something something easy. Like a Pestilence. Actually, Pestilence is not that bad. Oh. Hang back. And the cool thing about Pestilence when it spawns Silkworms is that... We can pretty easily uh, take those out at the same time that we're shooting as him, as long as we have Brimstone. And now he's just going to be able to spawn flies, which is going to make him actually much, much easier. Takes a while to charge up this Brimstone, but it packs a wall up when it's done. Again, damage ups would be fantastic now, too. But I'm obviously going to be getting a cube of meat from this room. And the opportunity to make a deal with the devil. What do you want this time, buddy? I've already milked you. Well, 25 cents for three Spirit Hearts is probably not worth it. Could be, but probably not. Obviously, nine lives was not even an option. That is another tinted rock. Glad I didn't waste my bombs. Although, it just opened a chest, so we might have to come back for that later. Because right now, keys are a little bit precious. Well, you know, mm, we'll see. Book of Revelations recharged. Lots more money. And now keys are even more precious, because I might be going to the shop in addition to the item room on this floor. But in any case... We'll keep that chest in mind for the future. Maybe come back for it a little bit later. Now, fistula. Should be a relatively easy course of events here. Yet another scent, making the shop a viable option. Now, if we can get the battery, there's a chance that this run could be the blue baby run. So, item here. Teleport again. Come on. Well, we'll shoot all the poop in here anyway. So, we might as well. Maybe get some more money. I could really use another key, actually. Hey, another scent. That's something. Not gonna complain too hard about that. Whoa! 
Big room. Lots of hoppers. I will use a bomb to get over here, because there's a bomb next to the chest as well. We're going to pick up a bomb and a key as a result. Good trade. Alright, this, this room can be kind of dickish. Just got to be patient. Come on, I'm trying to hit the guy on the bottom. Maybe I should focus on the guy on the top. That didn't kill him? We can get him to pop up and then come over here and do it like that. You brought that on yourself. Let's get it. Let's get this guy to pop out. There we go. I got the secret for this level now. As long as you have brimstone anyway, or the Ouija board, I suppose. It's called the Ouija board, right? Like I know it's spelled like Ouija, but it's pronounced Ouija, is it not? I don't know. Maybe I've been making myself look like a fool. Look like a fool on the internet. I'll never live that down. Says the guy who thought the Necronomicon was the Book of Belial. Or, sorry, vice versa. Well, not getting out of here without taking damage. Unfortunately, but hey. Get the Revelation's recharged anyway. Can't get to that pill. Doing alright on hearts, though. We're gonna do some more exploring here, obviously. Oh, because I want to visit as many rooms as possible to get as many spirit hearts as possible, because... We gotta amass a, a spirit heart fortune as quickly as we can. It's gonna make Shoal a lot easier. And the womb a lot easier, actually. I took a lot of damage on the womb part too last time. Which was almost the end of me. Although actually I had a pretty comfortable run, all things considered. And then we got a pill that we can't get to, but that's okay. Gluttony, as I mentioned uh, a couple times now. I really like fighting the mini-bosses, because I feel like they, they give you a good return on your investment. You, you're going to very rarely get hit for too much damage. But they'll drop HP ups. I mean, that's equivalent to just a spirit heart for me, but that's okay. That's not so bad at all. And with three keys, I guess we'll go back and check out this chest over here. That I got on one of those first rooms out of a tinted rock. Hopefully contains some uh, more bombs and keys inside of it. Well, a bomb anyway. Traded a key for a bomb. Not a great trade at this point, but... Certainly not, uh, not a deal breaker either. Ah, some damage. I will use a bomb to get over here because there's a key contained in that chest. So, as long as we get something cool here. Hey, there we go. More than paid for itself. What do we have in the shop? Battery. Sign me the fuck up. Book of Revelations recharged instantly as a result of me buying it. And after I used it, it had two spaces already, or two, uh, Parts already ready. So again, we'll explore pretty much every room that we come across here. Just because we are overpowered relative to the levels that we're on right now. So we keep trying to amass advantages. And also, of course, this should allow the Book of Revelations to maybe recharge one more time before we fight the boss. And the quicker we get these spirit hearts, the more leeway we have in terms of taking damage as we get a little bit further on. What are we doing in the path? Uh, these, these heads are still kind of a pain in the ass, honestly. Let's take out the floating ones that shoot first before the one that shoots when it dies. Go. Picked up a key as a result. Should only have one more room here. One more room that's totally useless to me. Use a bomb to get to four cents. You know, I got a lot of bombs right now. Let's take them up on that offer. And I could waste some more bombs looking for the secret room, but I want to go back to the shop really quick. See if there was anything else in there that... Tickles my fancy. A heart and a pill. Eh, I'll save my money and maybe go to the shop next time. I'm going to use two bombs to try to find the secret room. Here's attempt number one. No. And the other one is going to be directly below this room. No. You know what? I'll use three bombs. Because I have no impulse control. The one here. Nope. Okay. Now we'll just go fight the boss. Now that I've wasted three all-important bombs. Don't need that money. Don't need that heart. Can't even get to that pill if I wanted to. Who are we dealing with here? Champion Chubb. Not a bad deal. Gonna be pretty easy to take out. You can see, like, one brimstone does, like, 10% of damage to him. But it does, uh... This nu Chubb spawns nubs. That was a, kind of a tongue twister for me. But he is slow as hell, I guess, is the, the trade-off there. So, fine by me. Hey, Pentagram gives us increased damage. 
So our brimstone is going to be super powerful now. And again, we get the opportunity to get Mom's Knife, which people keep telling me is like the best item in the game. But I got this sick brimstone rolling right now. I'm familiar with it. Maybe I'll take Mom's Knife in the next video, after I've beaten the game with Blue Baby. Or when if this run fails and I get the chance to play with Blue Baby again. But for now, I, I, I know what I got with brimstone. So I'm going to stick with that, just for now. And uh, we'll... Don't, d never fear, we're gonna cover Mom's Knife. I mean, we're like 60 videos into this goddamn Let's Play. It's not ending anytime soon. It's a gargantuan beast that I love with all my heart. Let's hang back here, take out these double flies. Can we get all three of these in one? Triple kill. Okay, I felt surdy just saying that. What do we have in here? Leapers, okay. Couple blasts per leaper is gonna be enough. Excellent, that went really well. And in the item room, poison touch. Seem to be getting that awful lot lately. We could fight the boss right now, but instead let's do a little bit of exploring, because obviously we want to recharge our Book of Revelations as much as possible. This is gonna be a quick run though. Brimstone plus Book of Revelations plus battery, plus increased damage. Lots of things going in my favor. We are gonna want to visit the shop again too. There we go. I was kind of surprised I managed to get out of there without getting hit. My, my master stroke was just not moving. Just shoot the fire. Book of Revelations is ready. Now shoot the fire like I suggested. Cool. We have an extra mass and quite a good selection of hearts right now. Okay, now we can take this out from across the map. Let's do that and save ourselves some trouble. More keys. Guts are pushovers, apparently. Two shots on that champion, but it gave us some more money. Which is good, because we will try to get something from the shop. Another key that I could get for a bomb, but I don't wanna. Lust is gonna be no problem. HP up, maybe? Well, a pill? What does the pill do? Oh no. Oh no. Get out of there. Okay. Keep exploring. Book of Revelations almost recharged again. What a great item. This uh, 9 volt battery. I don't know the differences between the 9 volt and the regular battery, but I like them both. Go, another key, another spirit heart. Add it to the pile. Another scent. Ooh, we still haven't found the shop. Oh, there it is. And yet, yet another uh, small donation to my Book of Isaac fund. Hey, two spirit hearts for 15 cents? I'll take it. Could get the ladder as well, but yeah, I would rather have the spirit hearts right off the bat. Gives me a little bit of, of peace of mind. See, that took damage immediately. Got a key out of it. What do we, might as well fight in this room, honestly. Oh, for the compass, absolutely. I'll get another spirit heart out of it as well. So this is a that was a no-brainer in terms of deciding to come into this room. Compass is, is such a good item to get just for taking out a mob trap room that usually tends to be relatively easy. And the Book of Revelations getting another charge, which is icing on the cake. Got hearts off the screen now. Let's go fight the boss. See, this is the kind of run you gotta have with Blue Baby. And remember like 10 minutes ago when I traded for Brimstone and only had one spirit heart left? That was risky. But I guess for once my Who Dares Win Wins motto has actually paid off. Let's use a bomb, one bomb, and see if the secret room is here. I mean, I'm already here, it's on the way. Nope. Bad luck with that so far, but that's okay. Oh, so we're gonna get an actual Meat Boy, which is actually gonna be really useful because... Oh, ah, uh, dumb by me, but at least he'll take poison damage. I had no reason to, uh, to be there, though. So with our actual Meat Boy, it's gonna be good. Because we'll have something shooting while we're charging Brimstone, so flies aren't going to be as much of a problem. Oh, this guy's it's kind of quick. But uh, everything else is coming up blue baby right now. There's another spirit heart and a cube of meat. And down to the next floor where we'll be fighting Mom at only 19 minutes. Pretty damn quick. I can see where the boss room is. Let's do some exploring though, because obviously I want to I wanna charge up my shit as much as possible. Oh god. I have no business taking damage on that room. Me boy, if you, if you want to take this guy out, that'd be fine by me. Oh, another... No business taking damage there. It's embarrassing. But luckily, I, I charge relatively quickly. 
And we got a mini boss down here that I'm gonna love to fight. Hopefully get another HP up out of it. Now this can be okay. You just gotta be a little bit careful. Both of these guys at once. Half a heart I can't use, but that's alright. Little chubby here. Looks like he's gonna take three hits. Uh, technically four. Revelations is recharged. Who's our boss here? Pride. Pride can be kind of a pain. But I usually don't take damage against him. Anarchist Cookbook. Want well, nothing to do with that, but at least he gave me a little bit of extra charge on my Book of Revelations. Continue exploring. We'll go to the left. I'll probably visit that mob trap room as well. You never know what's going to be contained therein. Probably do not want to visit the, um, the blood bank, because I can never replenish my hearts. Wow, lucky me. Three spirit hearts in the same room. There was a tinted rock there in case you didn't see it before I exploded the bomb fly into it. I didn't even have to use a bomb to get to it. Fucking loaded on spirit hearts right now. Could blow up that blood bank, but I, I won't just yet. <clears throat> oh, oh! Me boy, you, you saved my life. I don't know what to say. Thanks a lot. Another spirit heart. I, I don't even know how many spirit hearts I have right now, but it is fucking rising quickly, let's put it that way. Uh, this is maybe the most overpowered offensive run I've ever had. Yeah, we'll, we'll come hang out in this room just because, uh, again, it's a chance to get a little more charge on my Book of Revelations, which is always welcome. Even though I am dealing with leapers here, they don't seem to be too much of a problem, do they? Remember, the guys with the eyes are much faster than the guys without the eyes. If I can get them all in a line, then it doesn't matter, does it? So offensively overpowered right now. Oh, zombies. Yeah, I'm real scared. Another scent. I would love to be able to buy something from the shop on this floor, but not exactly doing great in terms of money right now. What would I even get, really? I guess I could buy more spirit hearts. Not that I necessarily need them. Although, you know, my pride could be my downfall in this... You never know. Hey! You ask for money, and you shall receive money. There's 13 cents. Book of Revelation recharged again. At the very least, we'll be able to go visit Judgment. Probably get an HP up. Mom's uh, bra is not necessary. Almost said Mom's heart. Destroy them. Another few rooms until Revelations gets another charge. Hey! There's enough money to go to the shop. Potentially buy something really useful. Champion version of Chubb again. Spawns nubs. Chubb spawns nubs. That's not a problem. At all, actually. Not a problem at all. They'll both die at the same time. Health I can't use. Probably greed here. No. We got the Bible. We got another spirit heart. 16 cents. I'm never going to use this money again. Let's buy this. Then we'll go up and talk to Judgment. Maybe he can give us another spirit heart for the 11 cents that we have. At the very least, he'll give us more bombs and keys. Do I sound excited? I feel excited. This is a really good run. There, come on, Judgment. Don't let me down here. Good stuff. Two cents for a bomb. Two cents for a key. These are good rates. Competitive rates. Uh, that's that's worthless, but I appreciate it. Hey, thanks for the Bible, uh, but it's totally unnecessary to me. I, but again, I appreciate the thought. That would have allowed me to beat Mom instantly, but uh, it would provide me with no possible protection against the devil. What do we have in here? Guts. Not an issue. One more room and then we'll fight the boss. So Book of Revelations will recharge one more time. Excellent. Um, yeah, let's just go fight Mom then. I was going to look for the secret room, but I don't think it's really that necessary. Doing work right here. Mom is already down a pretty significant amount of her health considering how early we are. Oh, almost. Ah, uh, I did take damage there. And damage there as well. The poison touch will, uh, do some collateral for that. Almost took some damage there, too. I gotta start paying more attention. Oh, there we go. Okay. Gotta take out the enemies as well. Save me in the long run, because those are what normally ends up doing damage to me. Not so much the foot anymore. Mostly these goddamn enemies. And one more. There we go. 
dropped a spirit heart. Somehow I took damage after that, uh, but it also gave me an HP up, so we got more and more hearts. I don't even know how many I have right now, but it is a staggering number to be sure. Now begins the speedrunning part of the game. Try to get to the end as fast as we possibly can. So we'll just go towards the boss, the direction I believe the boss to be anyway. And there it is! Probably the fastest anyone has ever done the room part one, or the womb part one. We got Skolex here. Skolex should die nearly instantly, really. Easy to hit with Brimstone. Come, this is the only reason it's taking long. Oh, well, and the fact that I just missed that shot. And that one. There we go. That was easy. Book of Revelations is recharged. Um, actually, I suppose we could amass some more spirit arts. I want nothing to do with your trade, Satan. I'm already rolling deep here. You know what? Let's just go down. Less time I spend on these floors, probably the better, even though I could be amassing a, a bunch of spirit hearts right now. Oh, come on. Well, thanks for standing in one spot. The fool takes me back to the spawn room. Probably not going to be that useful. What do we got here? The magician, homing tears. I don't think that works with my laser beams. Get all three of those guys at once. They dropped a chest. A pill, which bomb switches our bombs and keys. Almost useless. But hey, there's the boss room right off the bat. So we'll be... Oh. Stupid damage. We'll be fighting Mom's Heart right after this. But we will be picking up uh, another spirit art as well, because Book of Revelations is very nearly recharged. One more hit on Loki should do it. There we go. Now we got two bomb blasts to deal with. Hey! <laughs> Lucky me. Got a bomb and a spirit heart out of that. And another pill, which gives us bad gas, but that's okay. Let's go fight Mom's Heart. This has been a really quick run through on the womb. Would have been a good candidate for the Womb Boy achievement for not getting hit, but uh, unfortunately, I am not above taking stupid damage at every opportunity. Okay, so we'll just keep hammering away at Mom's Heart here. Working pretty well so far. Of course, the real deal comes when uh, we actually get to fight it as it constantly drops bombs. Because then we can do a lot of damage in a relatively short amount of time. One more hit on Monstro, I think. Maybe not. Maybe two more hits. Yeah, see, my, my Isaac sense is getting pretty strong. I murdered both of those Larry Juniors simultaneously. Uh, just shoot some of this poop at the same time we get the eye lasers, just to get it out of the way, really. Oh, there's a, a vaginal bomb fly here. The worst kind. Almost down to half health. Taking a little bit longer than mom boss or mom's heart boss fights sometimes do but still not a certainly not a prohibitively long time at this point as of yet anyway 50 percent duke of flies duke of flies is a pretty shitty time for him considering i have brimstone with increased damage there's chub again chub is not going to be able to put up too much against us with these piercing shots in addition to Meat Boy doing about, you know, half a hit point of damage every 10 seconds. More zombies. I'm unconcerned. Again, wish I could fly here, but that's okay. We'll just keep mashing away a mom's heart, which is apparently a fetus. And it'll destroy some of its own creatures, which is fine by me. I gotta watch out for this creep, though. Because I can't fly, so I can't kill but I can destroy basically every enemy she spawns. That was not so bad at all. Devil has nothing for me, I assume. Yep, just a trip to the next level. But at a half hour, we're heading to Shoal already. As Blue Baby. And the devil is a long way away. So we gotta we gotta play it cool here. Oh, yeah, that was borderline inevitable. Here's here's where we're gonna start to lose hearts. The trip to the devil is actually worse than the devil itself, of course. Focusing intently. It'd be a goddamn shame to take too much damage against Sloth at this point in my Isaac Let's Playing career. I could just escape it right now, but hey. We'll take a we'll take that. Hey, the hero font, two more spirit hearts. 
I have no idea how many I have right now, but it must be like 20. Gotta be careful about these guys. Total dickholes, aren't they? Oh, one's dead anyway. And the second one's dead. Book of Revelations is recharged, and we got a bomb out of the whole situation. Oh no, war. I'm so scared. Alright. Second verse, same as the first. And you are already nearly dead. Please drop a spirit heart, that would make my life so much easier. Well, maybe not so much easier. Make it like 5% easier. Well, a chest containing lots of useless money. And a fistula. Okay. Whoa. Lots of shit happening right now. We'll take out those. And I guess we'll just go fight Satan right away. We're gonna have to deal with the Fallen first. I'm super high on health. I, I'm optimistic about this fight, to be honest with you. Already did like a third damage to the Fallen as a result of blowing up those bomb flies. So it'll split in two any second now. Yep, that was as if on cue. Again, Brimstone allows us to uh, do damage to both of them at once. Gotta be careful about that uh, gluttony attack that he has going on there, though. Okay, I've avoided it well so far. I'm not gonna say he's nearly dead. We're, it's a start. One should be dead any second now. There we go. And the second one, please. And that was easy. No spirit hearts lost. Yeah, we'll just focus on the devil. I don't have as much power as I did during my last fight with Kane, so we're gonna have to be a little bit more cautious, and also it would be nice if I actually charged Brimstone all the way. Gotta get out of there. Bullet health. Oh god. There we go. Oh, fuck. Took some damage. Oh well. It's okay. Satan's got nothing on us right now. Already down below 50%. Charge it up. Charge it up. It's okay. Take your time. Another hit. I still can't even see my heart, so I'm not that concerned. I'm firing away. Okay, gotcha. One more hit. Okay, now we gotta focus on his legs. Stay strong here. Gotta watch out for the bomb flies, always. Well, Poison Touch will do some damage there anyway. Any chance I get to take out the bomb flies well damaging Satan is money well spent. Okay, not doing so hot, but I can't see my spirit hearts yet, so... I can't see the end of my health, I should say. So I'll take it. Got him down to about 50%. Going. Okay. Okay. I'm, can you tell I'm focusing intently right now? Bomb fly down. Oh, walked into it, but hey, we'll do some poison damage. And I killed it! And I got... Forget me now, I got a roofie? I still can't even see my spirit hearts. That's amazing! What a good run with Blue Baby. So, the same ending we've always had. But, let's check out our collection. Or sorry, let's check out our stats. Another achievement unlocked off screen. Secrets found 58 out of 63. Oh, I still got a few more to get, I guess then. But anyway, that's beating the game. The new game with every character in the binding of Isaac. Um Well, of course the let's play is obviously going to continue. Maybe we'll have to go back to some challenge runs because uh what can I say? I've actually kind of I'm not going to say mastered, but I've gotten a lot better at the Halloween update. Maybe it's time for some more DLC. But in any case, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.